I have a word of encouragement that I would like to release over you guys today. You know, many of you know my journey. You know um, the things that I've had to overcome based on my childhood and my experiences. And, you know, if I want my life to count for anything, I, I really I want it to count that people see God's power in and through me. You know, he is so good at being a redeemer. And I, I believe my life just models that, that he has taken the, the, the big, the bad, and the ugly. He has taken the messy. He has taken the mistakes. He's taken the sins. He's taken the generational curses. He has taken all of that, and he has redeemed it, and he has used it for good. Yeah, I just, I'm so thankful for that part of the Father's heart that is all about redemption. Like it, Jesus is all about redemption. The entire story of the cross is all about redemption. And I just, I celebrate that and I am, I'm thankful for that. But I want to share with you one aspect of my journey that was just reoccurring for me. I, I call my um, inner healing years, I call it my, my inner healing years. It was about a decade where I just went after this stuff and it just, it felt like a full-time job. And um, after the breakthrough came, after peace came, after deliverance came, after I got set free from this stuff, there was just a reoccurring theme of almost sadness in my heart where I would just cry out with my mentor as I was walking this through and just, why didn't my mom and dad do what it took? to work through their stuff so I didn't have to reap the fruit of it. Let me just say that again. I feel like somebody needs to hear this today. Why didn't my mom and dad do what it took? Why didn't they have the courage to work through their stuff so I didn't have to live the fruit of it? God, you know, we live in this place where, I mean, God is Redeemer. It is what He does. It is who He, it is, who he is. But at the same time, moms and dads, we can work through our stuff. And we can let the Lord have his way with us so that we're not naturally passing that stuff on to our children. So I just want to encourage you. You know what it is. You know the areas that are just, you're crippled by insecurity, by fear, by being wounded, by unforgiveness, by shame, by lack, by poverty, whatever it is. I just want to encourage you to let the Lord redeem those pieces. Let the Lord redeem those places deep within your heart. Do the hard work. Do the heart work. Do what it takes to let the Lord have his way with you so that you do not naturally pass that on to your children. Give them the blessing of a parent that is whole and free. Come on. The next generation needs you. The next generation needs you to do what it takes so that you can be a parent full of peace. Come on, be encouraged by that today, you guys.